Hey y'all, I'm Jeremy, I'm the Guitar Hunter. So today is an exciting, but kind of a sad day. I'm packing up my house. We're moving to Virginia, we're moving out of Louisiana. I love Louisiana. Music culture is unbelievable here. The amount of guitars I can find, and the amount of cool old stories from musicians is amazing. Um, but it's just a good season for us to be back in Virginia with my family for a little bit. I'm gonna pack some stuff up, but I just wanna show you some of my own guitars, the guitars that I'm keeping to bring with me uh, to Virginia. All right. Guitars. So the first one here, so the body was made by John, by Jimmy Foster. At first I thought just make it like a straight 70s style funk guitar because it was a very yellow piece of ash. And then I had this stroke of inspiration like with such cool grain, it'd be really fun to do a transparent finish. And then I had a Mighty Mike, no this is a Warmoth. I had a Warmoth neck with a laminate rosewood fingerboard really cool big c-shaped neck um, and so i put some vintage clusson style tuners on it put a fender decal on it um, just because it's my guitar and i get to do what i want so the pickups are made by evan dowie at rude guitars so i wanted just i wanted 50 style pickups that had a little more spank a little more fun uh, than other guitars so that's what we did there's really bitey uh, a bitey bridge pickup and a real smooth overdriven neck pickup and uh, this guitar is just everything I want in a strap, which I don't normally like straps, which is why I wanted to build the perfect strap for me. The second guitar here is, this is my favorite Telecaster I've ever owned, and I owned a bunch of Telecasters. 1985 Japanese Tele, uh, and there's a weird story in here, and I don't know all the details, but I know that in 84, Fender was in the process of being sold from CBS to FMIC, in that process, somehow they had a bunch of bodies that they'd made in the U.S., but they didn't have the plant to finish them in the U.S., so they were sent to Japan. Yeah, you like this one? So there's some hodgepodge story of how like the bodies were made here and they were sent to Japan to be finished. Um, I'm fuzzy on the details, but what I do know is that this guitar has all of the mojo of a 60s telly, uh, but I just can't afford the I can't afford the 60s ones, but I can afford this. So these are the Seymour Duncan Antiquity pickups. CTS harness, uh, upgraded to some aged Clusons, the new Clusons, because the original ones were terrible. The, so basically these guitars are awesome, it's just the pickups not, and all the harness is not that good. So this is my favorite Telecaster I've ever owned. So the last one here is my custom offset from Rude Guitars in Mandeville, Louisiana. My friend Evan made this. I've talked about this a bunch on my channel. Um, it is a Limba body. It's chambered. Um, it's got an F-hole on this side and it's chambered on the other side. We build PAF style pickups. see I have a style. Uh, so basically what I wanted was the best Strat I could make, the best Telecaster I could have, and then I wanted a full-on two humbucker guitar uh, that reminded me of the Gibson sounds, but still played more in the Fender world because that's just more my style. Uh, I love this guitar and there's not another one in the universe like it and that's really cool to me. So uh, I dig this guitar and I want to hang on to it forever. So these are the three that are coming with me. What's strange is I'm much more of an acoustic guitar player. And right now, this season of my life, I've just sold most of the acoustic guitars I have. I have one, I have that, that Gibson that had the broken neck. I like that guitar. I'm not gonna keep it forever. So I'm gonna go, we're gonna move to Virginia. We're gonna see what is there. And I'm gonna see where the channel takes me. So it is my desire that this channel adds value to people's life. It makes you better musicians and you get to find cool old guitars. So I'm Jeremy, I'm the Guitar Hunter. I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel, I'd love for you to share with people that you know. Um, thanks everybody. Let's go find something cool.